Let's try this again. Uh, OBS had a crash a little earlier. <laughs> oh, I, did, I just redid everything again. Uh, it seems to be working fine. Okay. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna we're gonna check out the Akitsu Kimo Demeshi event. Um, after we do our dailies and such like that. Uh fact that I had to do that again. Thank you, OBS! Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. Technical issues, you don't- nobody likes them. Though, it's been several days since I, uh, did a stream, so... Yes, it makes sense to have some technical issues. All right, let's run through this real quick. I've done this several times, you know. You know how it is. If I get some dried fish, uh, sure. Oh, it's this one. What are they at? Are they in Port Armos? I swear I thought... Wait, what the heck? Oh, I chose the wrong one. I guess it's because both of them show up in the list, so I just like, up oh, click. Yeah, I don't think uh, I got from you last time, so I think I'll get from this time. I think that'll give me achievement, maybe. Okay, back to you. I did it. Here's your order. Take it and run. Run for your life. Run. Okay. Alright, we got this one, the jumping challenge. That is simple enough. Quit following me. That's right down there. Let's just jump off here. Boom. We can jump around. I love these things. Going back to the other, like, locations, that just sucks when you realize you can't use these. Because they don't exist over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Oh, 
on the jail. Ah, how amusing. Oh, do I have to defeat the other guy too? <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. It's a... One of these. Triple threat. <laughs> he got frozen. Yeah, his, uh, his new set's really good. I don't know why I did that. I was trying to get his back up. Yeah, I, uh... Since the last stream, I did manage to get a pretty good, uh, set for him. Uh, for a while, I was just using a Viridescent set that I stole from Hazo, but... Yeah, pretty good. Um, I might eventually want a set of this for Hazo, too. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, now let's go back over here to this. I just figured I had to take that little detour. Okay. Boom. Who doesn't love mushroom trampolines? Yay for mushroom trampolines. Okay, now we have impregnable defense. Okay, that is very weird now. It crashed again. I don't know why. Uh, let me check something real quick. Relax. Let's make sure. Da, 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 da. Luckily, I was able to resume it this time. I don't know why it keeps crashing. I just know it's kind of frustrating. Uh, okay. Well, let me try something. Okay. Something is trying to use a bunch of CPU. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. I will leave this up for the second so I can watch it over time. Let's see if this will be okay. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Hopefully not. Bro? What was that? That was strange. Okay, okay, okay. Well. Let's just keep going and hope it doesn't do that again. Oh, wait, one second. Let me fix it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. That's... Kind of unneeded. Just, I'm just trying to stream, man. Just trying to stream. Like trying to cap out on CPU or something. I don't know why. Quit following me. New punchy. Rain outlines your face. Let me leave you alone. Dare to mess with me? Have fun with this gift. The wind rises. Take this, guys. Upon the gate. Behold. 
Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the CPU is getting dangerously close for some reason. I guess something else is just running in the background. I don't know why. I'm I'm being watchful of it though. For now. What happens? I'm hoping it's done crashing now. I'm hoping. Pouring light snow. The path of the touring light snow. Huh. Too slow. Aha! Yeah, well, that's all those. Nice. Finally got through some. Ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, it's... Now that it knows I'm watching it, its CPU is kind of staying down. Add it, it knows I'm watching it now. Thank you for it knows. Okay. Now let's get on to the actual thing. The event. Akitsu Kimodameshi. I doubt I said that right, but let's go. Test of Courage. Back to Inazuma. Inazuma. Okay. And here. We're, we're, we're going to the Kamisato estate. That means we'll probably see somebody like uh, Ayaka or Ayato. You know, somebody like that. Who will we see? And the answer is, it's Ayato, yay! <laughs> Ayato! Long time no see! Ah, it's you two. Yes, it has been a while. Actually has, huh? Because we went all the way through Sumeru, and... I think the last time we saw him was the, um... Was it that, like... Book event or something? I think it was. So we came right over to sign ourselves up. We didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? <laughs> uh, yes. It just so happens that this test of... Well, then again, was the was book event really important? Suggestion. But naturally, I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event, that's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying is, you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules! <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. True. However, <laughs> the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, mm. sorry. What did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time, I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Uh, sure. Thanks, Ayato. As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. Okay. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that oh, round? It's a treasure hunt? Huh. <laughs> so there's going to be multiple rounds to the test of courage? 
Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find. So, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Makes sense. Oh, Paimon gets it. So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. Oh, Paimon. You need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon. Thank you for the recap, yes, Paimon. Seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. What's the grand prize? Ooh, grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for oh, is it the weapon? Value, I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Of course, this event is intended to measure your courage. If you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. Uh, the only one to be frightened is Paimon. Myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Uh, good as mine. Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine. The Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. That's right! I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway. You better. I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. Okie dokie. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Okay. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Whoa, what did I mean by that? Oh, will there be spooky things in Chinju Forest? <laughs> it's certainly a possibility. He's just pulling your leg. Ah! Oh, no, even you're trying to scare Paimon! Of course. All right, test of courage started, part one. Leave the Yashiro Commission. Is there somebody wanna meet out here? It's Ito. <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> it's Ito! What are you doing here? I'm surprised you dropped oh, the nickname. Don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage! <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. Are you sure about that? Like, I kind of remember I mean, you being well, afraid of ghosts. That's what I really want to say. <laughs> but uh, I have actually got something else going on. Uh-huh. Oh? It's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. Okay. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Oh. Chinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. Let's play some genius invocation TCG. You know, they have a point. Seriously? Test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not going to put up with that. Nuh-uh, not in my gang. I don't know. I kind of want to play some genius invocation. <laughs> then again, I've kind of already went through everybody up to Sumeru. Uh. Getting to an event they don't want to go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. That's true. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. 
Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Wow, you know, you should sure do care about your gang members. Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. Like, seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not going to be a test of courage, now is it? <laughs> not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. True. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated. You don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's we no have way the Paimon gang. The Yashiro Commission to make a fun event. I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, okay. You don't seriously mean that. Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is going to be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. <laughs> but it's going to take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Well, we're joining come the event. On, come scare people with me, please. Nah, I'm good. No! We're gonna win. Forget it. Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. But don't forget, <laughs> we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out. Just don't get in the way of our prize. <laughs> yes, you're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry. With me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. I don't know. I don't have faith. All right. Those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Are you sure that would just make things even scarier? <laughs> hey, Traveler, Paimon, enough chit-chat. We're gonna miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Up, oh, Hazo. Hey, Hazo. Wait, have we actually had an event with Hazo? No, he just had his own uh, hangout that I never touched, so... I don't think he's actually been part of an event. Quit following me. All right, here we are. Shinju Forest. All right. This looks like the place. Uh Is it just Paimon or does it look a lot scarier than usual here? It's just your imagination. Hey, Paimon! <laughs> 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 oh, don't speak up on Paimon like that! What do you want? <laughs> nah, nothing. I just had a thought occur to me. Oh, I thought you were just trying to scare Paimon. I, I would have done it too. Members real good, but now that I think about it, I've never actually scared anyone before. You have to try that hard. You're only now realizing this. But you mean you want to practice first? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, uh, I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. Um. Okay. <laughs> Just wait. You'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> the one and only. There he goes, running off and still talking to himself. True. Well, we were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. It's a shrine maiden. Hello. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. Yes. Yep, that's right. Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the shrine maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine. That's right. 
Ah, I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. And what does that mean? If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> oh, what's with the sinister laugh? He's just a weirdo. Yeah. Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Uh, is that the first test? <laughs> sure, you could say that. You know, the most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly on just a normal, average day. Just like today. But no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything was already set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? Calm before the storm, <laughs> round, <laughs> partner? <laughs> what? can understand. Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make the best team. Hmm? But it appears your names were written together as a single participant. The Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I can I to another partner in order to join the event. I see what he did. Are you serious? Ugh. If only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own, we could have had a partner. Now what should we do? We just find one. As far as I know, there have been other participants <laughs> who've yet to designate a partner. Azuha. Ask around. Goro. Ayaka. I'm taking Ayaka immediately. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Using Ayaka immediately. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. Where are you, Ayaka? There you are. I'm getting you. <laughs> Come join me, Ayaka. Oh, Traveler and Paimon. Greetings. Greetings. Huh? Are you here for the test of courage, too? Yes. My brother told me that the event would be most interesting and suggested that I personally participate. Perfect. You can I join us as the best girl. Test of courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect and have brought shame upon my clan. Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? Technically, we're Actually, one the person. The just told us that we only count as a single participant. However that works. So, we're looking for a partner now. Yeah, yeah, come join us, Ayaka. Splendid. In that case, how would you like to be my partner? I mean, is I that even a question? When you're by my side. Uh, but of course... Please don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. I mean, I don't really care for Goro that much, for one. If Kokomi was there, maybe. <laughs> I want to partner up with Ayaka. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Azo is cool and all, but it's Ayaka. <laughs> I can't turn down Ayaka, come on. If I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. Come on, we're, we're just going to think it's adorable. Alright. We're here to begin. Ryan Maiden, let's go. Ah, it looks like you found yourself a partner. Yes. The event is just about to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. Okay. It's called... Dongo Milk. <laughs> That's not <Dango> milk. <laughs> Wait. Correct. Tomoki was Dango milk. With his Dango milk. And it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju forest. Hey. <laughs> the path will be marked with signs to guide you. But some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, 
If you're ready, then you may begin. Okay. I don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> let's get the dongo milk. Proceed to follow the signs. You coming, Ayaka? Oh, she's gonna follow us. Nice. <laughs> this reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me oh. several years ago. Oh. There was a wandering samurai who, while crossing the forest at night, noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. That's super scary. Hyman doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story. <laughs> Will we really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, Traveler. There is multiple signs. There's ones that go that direction. Would There's... you like to stop for a rest? Well, no, I'm trying to figure out, like... There's ones that go up here. <laughs> oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. There we go. <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I can't you... quite make out what it is, but there seems to be something moving there. <laughs> it was literally just throwing mud at us. Okay, so there's no dongo milk here. Please stay a little closer. <laughs> okay, Aika, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. We got you, Aika. Don't worry. Uh we can either go further down the path or go this way. Well, let's check this way first. I feel like getting more interactions. I feel like the right way is actually that way. If it's not, that's the cool. Torment. Huh? Did you hear that voice? The torment. Ah, the torment. You will suffer with me. Oh, is that the actual item? Could it be? A spirit that's haunting this place? Oh, uh, we're not here to bother you. Uh, no need to torment us. We'll even ask someone at the Grand Narakami Shrine to come and free you. <laughs> Is tormenting just like talking to us? Is, you know, for an introvert though, it's pretty tormenting. Have we reached the end? Nope. Grandma doesn't see anything here. Not the right one. Oh, there's a little. <laughs> Is it you? Stay a little closer. Would you like to stop for a rest? I kind of want to see this guy real quick. Hi. No. no. Shh. Please, not a word of this to anyone. Otherwise, they'll dock my pay. Okay. Wow. They're they're mean. Jeez. They'll dock your pay because you were found. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to actually, like, almost get you fired from your job. You're pretty hidden there for a moment. Okay, Aika, I'm strong. Wait, are these fireworks? We better keep our distance. Let's get out of here. Fireworks can only mean one person. Yoi Mia, you're behind this. Uh, Hyman thought we found it. But it doesn't seem to be here. Would you like to stop for a rest? Hmm. Let's keep searching somewhere else. I mean... Did I actually search up here enough?
I mean, it looks like there's nothing else in this way. So yeah, I'd have to go back that way. Then. Okay, Ayaka. But did we choose the right location right from the beginning then, or...? Oh. It is literally right here. Look, everyone. Isn't this the Dongo milk we're searching for? I didn't mind going to the other There's locations, though. Because he got all the dialogue. Strange. What is that doing here? Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the Dongo milk. Then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much Dongo milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? <laughs> Paimon could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! Hi, scarecrow. It appears to be guarding the dongle milk here. Ooh, spooky scarecrow. It's watching if we touch the dongle milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon didn't even touch it. What if I happens if I just slowly reach out my hand towards the dongle milk? Let's try not to scare ourselves. You're getting scared over nothing. Oh, maybe you're right. Paimon will try to calm down. I uh, let's try some together. Mmm, tastes great. I want some. Any it sounds pretty I had good. A moment ago, seemed to have been dissipated by the dongle milk, and now that I look around, this is Chinju Forest as I've always known it. After making it here, it doesn't seem nearly as frightening. My brother once said that fear stems from one's heart. And if your heart is at peace, then fear naturally dissipates. Now I understand what he meant. But fear is not entirely... Oh, what? Although I've been scared a few times, I still feel happy now. I would like to continue you... walking through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? Why is the red joking out there? <laughs> I think I saw someone I know just now. Uh, I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I was not see expecting the red joke. Have a lovely chat with your friend. I mean, technically, she's the person in charge of your. Yeah. A indeed. Oh, it's really you. What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Nico told me about the test of courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Hi. I didn't oh, expect you here. Why you're here? So what do you think of the test of courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. Oh. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary. Some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Of course they would be. <laughs> Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? There sounds like something she'd do. If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. I don't think she can. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the dongle milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round too. Ah, oh, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? Uh, no, not yet. If you mean, like... You know, in the event, no. I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief oh. look, and it appeared to be. I, I noticed that a little bit. I just didn't know what that was. The air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Oh. Akitsu Hazura? Uh, 
Didn't get that. that. It's a game where you use Hagorita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazuro when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you can eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. <laughs> well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. It sounds kind of like pinball. It sounds like it could be fun. Paimo would like to play. If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. I'll give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. I'll check it out. <laughs> I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds. So please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Okie dokie. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course. <laughs> He's so casual with us now, after all of that uh, happened in the Inazuma. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. Do you think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, the more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, the first round of the event should be finished by now, so let's head back. After we check out the game. Can we check out the game now? Is it actually something that pops up here? No, not yet. Yeah, so maybe we will we will head back first then. Now. Oh. Then... Bean. Bean crystal. There, there you are. Oh, hi, Ido. Whew. So, what'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? All you did was fling mud at us. Oh, uh, what time I think? No. Uh, Paimon was hiding behind you the entire time. <clears throat> scaring us at all. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave this one to the traveler. So, was Ito scary or not? He was very subtle. Wait, uh, what? No way. Listen, <laughs> every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got people to scare. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this should be a little fun. Shh, shh, I think we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. I'm once going to totally give them away. Them, Ito. Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. Are we a bunch of kids now? I kind of doubt this will work. So what exactly were you practicing all this time? Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what'll scare them. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, this is boring and let's go home. But it's dark and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. 
Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. Lovely sweet flower there in the background. I guess it might work. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. Two. One. Ah! Woo -ga 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 -ga! Her face. Uh huh. Wait, you're not. They have masks. Ghosts! It's the Winks. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Uh, did you see that? They were definitely not human. No, they had masks. So all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, what should we do? Do you think the ghosts are coming after us? Oh my God, Baimon. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. True. Well, <clears throat> well you, <clears throat> you shouted ghosts, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. No, you're afraid of ghosts. We I learned that. Real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. So why did we stop running? Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Yeah. Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Were they sent by the Yashiro Commission then? Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But, but there's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? God damn it, Paimon. If we go back now, they might try to eat us. <clears throat> oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, I don't, I don't think they're gonna be hungry for you. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. But uh, wouldn't it be more dangerous to stay here alone? Oh my god, Paimon. Investigation. Whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. That's literally every horror movie ever. Oh. Uh, I second that. Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind. Ever. Hmm. It looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous. Oh, it's nice to know you, Ito. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. And then you run into a ghost. <laughs> uh. Uh, has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh. Looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. No, it's just Paimon. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. Pretty sure those were just masks. Running off and talking to himself. Again. <clears throat> That's an Edo oh, thing. Do we really have to go? <clears throat> we'd be go oh, we'd better have a look. Just sitting here won't accomplish anything. Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. Jesus, Paimon. Anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? Can't you just fly away? <clears throat> a black crow? Well, Symbolic. You walked all the way here? Hmm. Even zooming in on it. Wonder where those Giving us a view went. through tree branches. Didn't see them Trying to make it eerie. Oh, maybe Ito <clears throat> was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Sounds like you come to your senses. You're finally back to your normal self, Paimon. Come out and show yourselves. 
show in actually here. Paimon's scary dead. Oh, Paimon. Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Hi, Chizuru. Longer. You've already come all this way, right? Is her name Chizuru? Uh, excuse us. <clears throat> Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Is it me? It doesn't look like she's bearing something. Are you talking to me? Oh, well, you're the only to person here. Someone like me? Hi. You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. We're asking for directions. Your lives. You must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you! Be gone! <laughs> the air is permeated with strange fragrance of flowers, which hey, makes you Sarah, dizzy. Wake up! Oh. That actually did something. Hello, Hazer! Uh, what happened? And there is the little prop. A young detective working at the Tenro Commission who appears well-behaved and polite, but actually thumbs his nose at all official mumbo-jumbo. As someone with extensive experience in solving crimes, Hazo is always the first one head of the police station turns to whenever there is an unusually complicated case. However, according to the young detective himself, his true chump card has never been experienced by intuition. No wonder he always wears a confident smile on his face. That's what we call the ease of a genius. Thank goodness you're okay. Hazo! What are you doing here? Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. Okay. Uh, please don't eat Paimon! Paimon doesn't taste very good! Well, you are emergency food. Please avenge Paimon! Wake up, Paimon. Are you here to rescue Paimon? No. No, we got, uh... Scary person? There was a person wearing a weird outfit, and who spoke strangely. Okay, <clears throat> I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. So this is what happened. And that's what happened. As I suspected, <laughs> there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. Oh? You were commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Ah, so you've heard of it. I like how you just went away the from the A part. It appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. I know, I'm gonna check there it out. No one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Oh. Could it be run by... Ghost. Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the test of courage. So visitors have gradually returned again. I mean, that's a smart that approach. The game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. <laughs> Probably not. But they could take Wait, credit. So the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? Sounds like it.
draw out. Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. Well, drawing them out. As That's the entire mission, point. Apparently someone <clears throat> reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. That just According sounds like they were addicted. Account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Oh, that sounds so scary! Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the test of courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth. Who's so the I'm killer? To investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. Okay. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir. True. You don't want to tell people there's something going on. Okay. And thus, it's been opened up. Let's check out the game. <laughs> Guess we don't have any choice to uh, check check out the game though. Let's go. We'll go to the next one after. Oh, you have to anyway. Cool. A cat's yeah. Uh, okay. A kitsu yugi. Both A and Hazel mentioned the game before. Shall we check it out? Yes, we shall. I'm curious about said game. You know, I feel like the whole you couldn't leave the game thing, though, trapped in the game, it just means you're addicted. I think that's what it meant. I couldn't stop playing. It was too much fun. Generally, that's what it means to be trapped in a game. You just can't stop playing it. Can you blame... <laughs> This should be where people play Akitsu Yuge. This place seems to be opening back up, just like A said. Aima doesn't really see anyone here, though. Heizo said that we could, we can start the game by talking to the bulletin board. So Paimon thinks we should try that. We should still be careful, though. Paimon really doesn't want to be trapped here. While playing Akitsu Yuge, the player must actively serve the ball, propel the skill ball forward using the bar. The skill ball will rebound upon colliding with the bar. If the collision occurs while the bar is moving, the rebound vector of the ball will also change. Okay, so this is block breaker. Before embarking on a challenge, players can select modifiers in the pre-match menu to gain more effective bonuses. Certain modifiers must be unlocked after completing specific stages, and some modifiers can be enhanced by completing shattered dark stages. Based on the elemental type possessed by the character controlling the bar, the bar will be infused with the corresponding element and apply the same element to the skill ball. During a Kitsuyuge, when there are pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro characters on the field, they will apply their corresponding element to the bar. When there are less than a requisite amount of bricks on the field and the ball lands another hit, the ball will fire a flurry of fireworks forward. Should any of these fireworks hit a brick, they will inflict damage. You can use this method to destroy bricks that are hard to hit. Okay. While playing leisurely pastime for Akitsu Yuge, you can join co-op mode for a single as a single player. If already in co-op mode, you can invite a player from your party to play together. Shadow Dark Mode can only be played solo. Okay. There's a the crab! Too slow. I got the crab. There's another crab! There's another crab! Alright. We got the crabs. Let's move on. There's another one! Okay. Let's check this out. How about a round of Akitsu Yuge? Yes. We'll do the first one. We're just gonna do one. We're gonna try it out.
Oh, that's cool. Electro bricks. Okay. So there's gonna be electro bricks and uh okay. Oh, and you can just literally like create a party. Elemental type banned for the stage. Hydro. Replicating Collider and Reflector Ward. So we can only choose two regardless, so. And then the characters, it looks like we're going to want some Electro. I don't know if... But just mainly Electro, like... I mean, we can get anything but Hydra, so Pyro, Cryo, and Electro, I guess. There. I don't know if it matters. After a skill triggers an overloaded reaction with a bar, it will gain the detonate effect. Upon hitting a brick, a blast that deals AoE damage to the surrounding brick will occur. After a skill hits a brick and causes an overloaded reaction, the detonate effect will trigger. Okay, so if the brick is Electro and we fire Pyro at it. Okay. After a skill hits a brick that causes superconduct reaction, the pierce effect will be inflicted. Hit bricks no longer cause reflections. Instead, the ball will continue moving forward, punching through all the bricks in its path. The effect ends upon skill ball striking the directory. Boundary. Okay. I didn't expect that. Oh shoot! <laughs> no! I lost two of them! The ball stuck in there now. <laughs> this is gonna keep hitting things. Oh shoot! No. Ew. Much harder than I expected. Uh, I still did it. It was the first time. I haven't played Brick Breaker in forever, man. Yeah, there is a shadow dark mode. Hey, I got the weapon. Wait, what? Oh, cool. In the event shop, I was actually curious. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the refinement item. Um, pretty good stuff in here. Obviously the crown. Brown, a big one. 
Let me see. Shadow Dark. Shattered Dark. Okay. So that's a solo mode. Alright, let's move on back into the... Yeah, so we can go right back... Up there. <clears throat> Fun game, though. Genshin just keeps bringing a Mod Podge of just, like, a bunch of old games, but revamped. Hi, Ito. Hey, you guys finally made it. Yeah, we were playing a game. <laughs> I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? No, not anything really. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. We never managed to find those three either. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed too. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. What's the plan? What plan? Exactly what Shinobu plan? told me a saying <clears throat> after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? The hunter by day becomes the hunted by night. Uh, one second. Let me do something real quick. Uh. Alright, there we go. Uh, fixed. Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. No, you didn't anyway, say that. I was so Don't on lie. People last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. Uh huh. But not this time. Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack. <laughs> you two Luck. just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest. Got it? Okay. See you later. <sighs> Back to this again. Oh, you know. Always. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Yeah. On to Tales, part two. <laughs> oh, you're literally right here. I see a sigh, you. First round of the test of courage. Yeah. And now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, that's a nonsense. What we just saw was super terrifying. Hey, it wasn't oh, that really? terrifying. Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. No, that's not what Prima means. Something mysterious is also happening here. Don't, don't bother it. with it, Paimon. It's not gonna work. So what? You've heard the stories about the test of courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. Ooh. People are afraid of seeing their inner fears appear before them. <laughs> and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. I'm on innermost fear. No food. In the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience. Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. I'm on. You're actually really gonna look around. Ah, really? <laughs> He's messing with you. There's nothing behind us. <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, I see a Toma. Congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of courage will begin shortly. Have Ooh. you found your partner yet? No. Huh? I don't even know. Don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. I figured as such. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Evicted! Oh, yeah, Paimon already knows. If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Oh, let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking Bye, you for Bye, Utoma. What's the next one? You and Mia. Hmm... Uh... uh... Let's 
see what you owe me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a traveler, Paimon. I had a feeling you two would be here. Are you sure? Oh, you're Mia. You're here too. Mm-hmm. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too, but it was already too late. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how he managed to find it. <clears throat> Paimon was just hiding behind her the whole time, and somehow we won! Traveler, you never told me you were so good at this sort of event. You were keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team! With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see that being on my team is a blast. Now let's get out there. A literal blast. This thing. We'll move faster than a firework shooting straight into the sky. It'll be like whoosh, and the round will be ours. Okay. We're ready to begin. Second round. Let's go. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> True. Anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test of courage. It's a fan. Ooh. Fan. You mean like <laughs> the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself, A fan. And has been placed somewhere <laughs> in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up. You only live once. <clears throat> All right, Yomi, are you ready? Are you ready to go? Can we talk to you? No? Okay. All right. Signpost, signpost. Na 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 na. This one says to go this way. There's also signs saying to go this way. Something just fell from above. Ah, keep it away from Paimon. Free Oni Kabutos? Let me see. Oh, it's an Oni Kabuto. And pretty strong ones from the looks of it. I'll hold on to them. I wanted to grab one. They'll come in real handy for the next Oni Kabuto tournament. <laughs> Why can't I grab one? Okay, well. I'm confused because there's signs over there too. And there's that one. I guess we'll just keep going this way. That one says to go this way again. I wonder if Ito's waiting over here. <clears throat> you want to explore somewhere else? <clears throat> uh, how about we finish the test of courage first? Oh, okay. Okay, so that sign just meant going down that. So you can go up that way, or you can go this way. We'll go this way. <clears throat> what the fuck? That's strange. How did Paimon transform into a lavender melon? Hey, what? Hey, Paimon's over here. That doesn't even look like Paimon. Hmm. So what in the world is this? Hey, it's flying away. Don't go. Let me have a look at ya. <laughs> All right, so there's a way up there, and there's a way this way. We'll go over here first. <sighs> this should be far enough. Are you tired, Paimon? Do you want to take a break? Yes, please. <sighs> Let's rest here. Uh, huh? <sighs> Wait a minute. Was that statue always facing this way? 
Did the statues move? somewhere else uh how about we finish the test of courage first let's see if this is it there are floating lavender melons hmm what is this stall doing here maybe it's for participants who need a break uh, <clears throat> excuse me three glasses of juice please <laughs> Don't worry. This time it's on me. Okay. Yay! Thanks, yeah, Mia. Yeah, can we have some uh, juice from this floating uh, stand here, please? Here? Nothing out of the ordinary. No one's around. Guess we'll <clears> just have to keep going. It's a dead end. Ugh. Where did they hide that van? Uh, another stall? It sure looks familiar. Wait, isn't this the same stall we saw earlier? It was literally right over the hair Paimon. It didn't even move much. Hi. Ah, it's back again! Maybe it's following us! Ah, help! God damn it, Paimon. here it's so beautiful uh, but now that i look closer it seems like the lanterns are floating in mid-air how is that possible i don't know uh, that's definitely not normal we found the fan hey can i borrow your shoulders for a second you can give me a boost and i'll pull one of them down <laughs> you are no, don't have any you just have the drive <clears throat> Hey, look what we have here. Isn't this the fan we're looking for? It is indeed. Wow, it has such a beautiful design on it. Are those fireworks? It seems to be for some sort of festival. And I should have went the other way then. So, now that we've if there was another fan, way. Does that mean we've won the second round of the test of courage? Let's bring it back. Okay. <sighs> Thank goodness it's over. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. I'm a little worried about him. Uh, why don't we have a look around? Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Is there something else you need to take care of? How about I take the fan back then? Thank you. That would help. No need to thank me. It's been a blast doing the test of courage with you guys. I'd love to do it again. <laughs> I've got you now. Ah! Just run! Don't worry about me! <laughs> Don't underestimate this, Sony. None of you are getting away today. Wow, Ito, you really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told yeah, you? I told you it was mass. What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you? Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all They're just sudden? kids in mass. Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Oh, I know. These are all creatures from the ultimate yokai field guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all yokai! It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. <laughs> oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of. Hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you three. Wait, is those are actual yokai? No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were 
just trying to. Uh, um, I thought they were just masks. Uh, Go ahead, you can tell us. Really? You're not mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. <laughs> um, well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai. The humans are also welcome to attend. I thought you were just humans with masks. You mean the Mikawa Flower Festival? Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival, but still. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But... We're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes, they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later... Many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, <laughs> don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all Ouch. solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. <laughs> Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human <clears throat> during a festival hundreds of years ago. Oh. It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa <laughs> Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> and so, Aww. the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes, I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. The Mikawa 
flower festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend. That was a nice one. And the Hazara is a symbol of... Nice story. <clears throat> That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant. So we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. We hear that someone had been trapped in Akitsu y Yugen. Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Chinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? Ayato. <laughs> that must have been Ayato. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Probably so. Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto. Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him. Wow! Kato's still clueless about who Ayato really is. That's alright, no need to tell him for now. Well, anyway... Seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts. Huh, what a relief. What are the other person, and though? now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all. Hey, you want to hang out with humans, right? I totally get that. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. <laughs> the yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but... Paimon was too busy having the bejeevers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. Okay. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Ah, oh, she's back. Hello there. <clears throat> Wait! You're the strange lady we met before. Hi. Oh, it's you two again. Hi. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. <laughs> but I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Do what? Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai and they told us everything. Huh? Fellow yokai? You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon guess! Uh... Hmm. I don't think she's a yokai. Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen? Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time, and I could... Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry, or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. Ito is showing some of his better qualities this time. We're your friends too. Yeah, so there's no need to worry. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. I don't know if he's gonna say yes. Who can finish the game the quickest? The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Oh, it's starting! Get ready. Oh wow, we're we actually playing this? <clears throat> Okay. So we got Electro and Hydro here. I'll try this. Now. We did it. Amazing! You cleared all the elemental cubes so quickly! Heck yeah! Mm -hmm. Paimon thinks we got this in the bag! Alright, it's your turn! He's gonna totally trump okay. us right now. Watch and learn! He's gonna beat the heck out of us right now. He's a pro. Did you see how she did it? He's a pro. You win. I concede. Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created Akitsu Yugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. A wish, huh? Then I wish... ...that we never cross paths again. Um, okay. Wait, what? But... ...didn't we just have a great time together? 
That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? I mean, if you that's what you want. This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... Dead. I'll steal your souls! Okay. Scared now? Good. Then don't come here again! Uh... No. Uh, Not really. He doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Everyone has their reasons. Uh, fair enough. But Paimon had a lot of fun playing a Kitsuyugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. Ito! How was this? I see a crab. Give me the crab. I always use more crabs. Huh. Hello, Ito. We're back. So, you must be Hikatsume Kozo. It's Kaizo. I mean, Ka yeah, Kaizo. Kazuha. <laughs> I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful, bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Aww. Oh, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedehara Kazuha? Lord? Yes, that's me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. Uh, I have no idea who you are. That must have been when I was trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Oh, Goro's talking to somebody oh, over there, too. So, y you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. Hi, Aika. Welcome no back. no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Hey. Don't you want to go talk to them, too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed when talking with you, General Goro. That's, <laughs> Actually, that's pretty sweet. I'm the most timid of the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. And there's us talking in the background to Edo. <sighs> it's okay. You can't excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away. Oh, man, Sayu. Mind if I join you? I've never seen a Kappa before. Hello there. Thank you for bringing so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Ah, <laughs> it's nothing. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? Oh, I should mention that uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito. There you go, bragging about yourself again. 
Okay, we can brag. We we, we have the bragging rights. For the test of courage, not because you brought them here. We literally have saved so many people. You are. That with so many archons. Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. <laughs> when it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. That's actually true. Oh yeah. All right. Well then, let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Sure, bring it on, Bull Checker Beetle Boy. Oh, you added on to the nickname. Please don't fight. Actually, I think you're both really amazing. You added on the Beetle and you Boy. Also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. <laughs> well, of course, boss. Oh, it's the boys. Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the gang. Ah. Uh, Boss! Hi. <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss! Boss we're we're sorry. sorry! Why are you sorry? Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, Boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill is kind of fun. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Right? Uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh. Wait, hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? Wait, you know, now's not really the time for that. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. We're catching what, school buses in this web. You mean there are real ghosts out here? Wait a minute. We did meet some lady who was all dressed up. Oh, that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai too. And we even played a Kitsu Yukin with her. Uh, I, I'm not sure who it was you met. Oh. But we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. The plot thickens. <laughs> Said she was a ghost? Maybe. Uh, boss, save us! <laughs> calm down. Everyone, ju just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Azo's back. Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's... There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, all your noise would drive it away. <laughs> Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, she just like took it. Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. Hazel gave him an order and he just followed it, which is funny. Yeah, that's the member of the staff. Actually, let me see if I can talk to you. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, best boss. <laughs> oh, Ayaka's over here, too. You can talk to them all. <clears throat> Could the rumors be true then? <clears throat> Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please be careful. Okay. Quit following me. Yeah, we'll talk to Kazuha. Where's Sayu at?
Oh, she's over there. Unease pervades the air, and fear is spreading. Maybe this is the real test of courage. It's already becoming an unforgettable experience for me. I believe my lord hath foreseen this situation. Probably did. He has my absolute trust, but given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So, is there really a ghost around here? Could be. I'm gonna go look for it. I've never seen a ghost before. Ooh, how exciting! Oh, you and Mia is gonna be confirmed to join the Ghostbusters. My usual hiding spots. It's always safe here. <laughs> Let me show you a trick. Just cover your eyes and the scary things will go away. <laughs> Alright, member of the staff. Say so you're not there anymore. You got taken away. Ooh. What's this? Look, there's something written in red on the bulletin board. Well, what does it say? Round three, item Hagoita. Oh my God, Paimon. Does this mean that the item we have to find in the third round is a Hagoita? Are you gonna be our partner, Hazel? The shrine maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the test of courage. But where did she go? Has she been taken away by a ghost? Oh my god, Paimon. Will Paimon be next? Oh, I hope so. Paimon will never leave your side now. Ah, uh, she can take you. Exactly. The are scribbled hastily, but there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? What did you notice, Hazo? I believe that the three items chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Probably does. Let's worry about that later. The bigger question is, are we really going to join the third round of the Test of Courage? Well, we have to get to the bottom of this. To win the grand prize, but our safety comes I think we'll figure out problems through the third stage. Make a tactical retreat. No, Paimon, no. I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. I'm staying too. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. <sighs> Paimon somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of, and we'll be back soon! On to Tales, Part 2 complete. Onward, wait until the following day. Well, uh, by wait, you mean... Change the clock? Yes. Traveler, Paimon, please let me be your partner for the final round of the Test of Courage. No problemo. I'd like your assistance with this investigation, since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost. That's fine with Paimon. What do you think, Traveler? Fine by me. Do you have any ideas so far, Hazo? I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. There are some places I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. Oh, yes. I believe there may still be some clues there. Uh, do we really have to go there? What if we're walking into a trap? 
Are you worried that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. That's true. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. Wow, Hazel! You're fearless! The more cases you see, the less afraid you become. Let's go. Oh, to where you first met the mysterious woman. Is it literally just right over here? This should be approximately where you first encountered the ghost. Of course, we cannot conclude whether the woman is actually a ghost or not at this point. But I'd like to go over everything that happened again. Do you recall anything she said at the time? She warned us not to go near her, and she said if we didn't leave, our souls would become trapped here. Mm -hmm. Paimon doesn't want to remember that moment. Paimon's shivering just thinking about it. Boo, Paimon, boo. What happened? <laughs> then, everything seemed to get darker, and Paimon started to feel dizzy. There were ghostly flames flickering all around, and... Paimon saw some sort of black mist surrounding the ghost, and then Paimon passed out. Hmm. Based on your account, it does really seem like you've seen a ghost. Exactly! Seems like so you've you seen a ghost. A ghost now? It's possible, but I'm more interested in what she's actually trying to I see those hilly trolls in the background. She is. Even if she is a ghost, as long as she possesses some sense of reason, then there must be some purpose behind her actions. Wasn't she after our souls? She said that herself. I think she was just trying to scare you. Probably. Oh, you think so? Think about it. If I had the ability to take your souls, then why go to the trouble of warning you over and over again? Uh, that's a valid Besides, point. A ghost wouldn't have allowed you to walk away knowing about the secret of its powers. Another valid it point. Make sense. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Because you're always too scared to think straight. I believe there are only two possibilities. The first is that she wanted to reap your souls, but there was some condition that had to be met. You know, like what we usually call a curse. But if you had really been cursed, then you would probably have noticed it by now. So, this is the less likely scenario. I believe she was just trying to scare you away. She was trying to get us to quit so she could claim the test of courage prizes. Was she registered as a contestant? Oh. Hmm. Probably not. So why does she want to scare us? Do you have any ideas, Hazel? Based solely on your account, I don't believe she actually meant any harm. She just didn't want you to stay here. But this evidence alone is insufficient to make any valid assumptions. She could very well be guarding some treasure or covering up a crime. Though, my intuition is telling me that neither of these hypotheses are correct. Let's continue investigating the surrounding area. Look for clues. There are some footprints visible on the ground. However, upon closer inspection, they seem to belong to Hazel and myself. Huh, could that one really be a ghost? I looked all around, but I haven't found any clues. Looking up there, there are a few branches that have been bent down slightly, as if something heavy had been hanging from them. <clears throat> have you found any leads yet? I've noticed some branches that seemed a little unusual. Yeah, some tree branches seem like they were bent by something, but that's about it. I see. After you left, I took a good look around the area. Aside from the bent branches, there are burn marks in some places, but that doesn't really tell us much. 
If only there was some more conclusive evidence. Excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Hi. Oh, it's you guys! What are you all doing here? We heard you were out searching for clues, and we wanted to help. Oh, that's really brave of you. Uh, actually, we're also really unsure about what's happening here. We just asked the members of Mr. Ito's gang about what happened to them, and it sounded really scary. That lady is either a nasty evil spirit or a formidable yokai. Either way, it's not good. B but we still want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival. Uh huh. We long admired the friendship between Lord Kamai and the Samurai. Which is why we want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival, to return the favor we once received from the humans. Even though our powers are limited, we don't want this bond of friendship to vanish. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to be enjoyable for everyone. The Chinju Forest covers a large area, so it'd be great to have more help in the investigation. Welcome to the team. Let's all do our best to figure out what's going on. Don't worry, we're very familiar with the area. We won't miss any clues. Now we've seen a talking dog. The gang's all here. This is a piece of shade cloth. Shade cloth? Yeah, it can effectively block out light and is used in a variety of settings, including stage performances. There's a rough tear in the cloth, probably caused by a sharp stone, or maybe some branches. Branches? Suppose that a large shade cloth was originally hung from a tree, bending the branches. When the shade cloth was removed from the tree, perhaps one of the corners caught and the branches ripped it, causing a small piece of black cloth to fall into the river. Either she did Perhaps she had other things to handle at the time. But why would she hang shade cloth in the tree? I'm only speculating, but... Maybe she used it to create the atmosphere you experienced. What do you mean? Let's not worry about that for now. There are still many variables I haven't deduced yet. Next, I'd like to investigate the place where the Arataki gang encountered her. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I know the way. I asked the gang members where their encounter with the ghost happened when we were chatting earlier. I'll take you there. Good. Please lead the way. Let's go find out what's going on. Follow the yokai. This is the place. They claimed that as they passed through here, the area suddenly grew dark, and some ghostly flames appeared out of nowhere. Ooh, spooky. Huh. What a coincidence. We saw the very same thing. Let's start by taking a look around the area, just as we did before. I found some sort of smash. The inside of it looks like it was blackened by smoke, and it smells like fireworks. Oh. Judging from the burn marks left on the scene, the ghostly flames you saw were not created by yokai power. Rather, they appear to have been caused by something flammable. I'm not sure what, though. Okay. And you? There's some strange powder in the cracks of these stones. 
I picked some up and sniffed it to see what it is, and it made me really dizzy. It just sounds like fireworks then. I'm so tired now. Hmm. Similar scare tactics. And she didn't have the time to completely hide the traces. I believe we're closing in on the truth now. I'm almost certain that the woman you encountered was not a ghost. She possesses no extraordinary powers. She was merely scaring people with some small props she had set up ahead of time. Some small props? But can you really do all that with just some props? What we saw was absolutely terrifying. First and foremost, the test of courage contributed to the unsettling atmosphere here. You were initially frightened by your first encounter with these three yokai, and then shortly after, you ran into the mysterious woman. It was natural for you to be on edge. Because you were already tensed up, you were breathing more rapidly and inhaled a lot of sleeping powder that she had sprinkled around the area. That is what caused you to feel dizzy. Oh, sleeping That's powder. That's she pulled down the shade cloth and lit those so-called ghostly flames, creating a terrifying scene. Hmm. That's the most likely explanation, anyway. So, it was all just a show? Okay, it sounds like it. She tricked us! There is, however, still one loose end. The person who commissioned my investigation did become stranded on the beach as a result of some unusual power. That couldn't have been accomplished by just a few small props. But if she possesses such powers, why bother with the theatrics? <sighs> That's a valid point. Valid argument. She can only use props to scare people in the forest, but she can use strange powers on the beach. Huh, I see. I think I've figured it out. Oh. Whoa, that was bad. Some kind of connection with the beach and her? If we out the potential of organized crime, then only one possibility remains. I know who the woman is. Let's go to the beach. Okay. To the beach! We'll come along too. No, you should go back and tell the others not to be afraid and not waste their time searching the forest. The truth has surfaced. It's time to put an end to all the unnecessary panic and await the outcome of the test of courage. Okay, but please be careful. If you run into any danger, simply call out our names. We'll be able to hear you. There shouldn't be any danger now, but thank you anyway. Let's go. Do I still win the grand prize? Let's search along the cliffs, son. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a chunk of earth that's unlike the others. Come find me here. There she is. I thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they never seen you before. So, who are you? And why did you try to scare us? <sighs> I have already warned you never to speak to me. If you don't leave now, then... Then what? Don't move. Just trust me. Your yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yokai power? Huh? How did you know? Your yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. When this type of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power. But that ability weakens as it moves further away. And if the original body is destroyed, 
then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That is the name I go by now. Chizuru, why do you want us to leave? If you're a yokai, you should understand why the other yokai want to interact with humans. Besides, we had a great time playing Akitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Just like the story of Kamai and the samurai. Yes. That's why. That's why I don't want you to be sad, too. Sad? Oh, what? What do you mean? I'm sure the yokai have already told you of the story about Kamai befriending the samurai. But they don't actually know the entire story. Well, tell us the entire story. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But ten years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Oh. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, oh. how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. Friendship started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades, it turned into regret. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed, but his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship That's gradually just, you know, humans aging, though. to the pain of regret. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly. And I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. Everything that people come to regret is inevitably set in motion from the beginning. I don't think we you have to worry about us, though. We are different from humans. We have longer lifespans and different natures, but we share the same world. We interact with one another. We are drawn to one another and will eventually part ways. When the dream ends, all that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. Oh. I understand. You mean... I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. 
I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now. And most of the time I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. Okay, I, he deserved it then. I used my yokai power to teach him a lesson. Ah, so that's what happened. You have a strong sense of justice. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? <sighs> it's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? Um. Oh. Hagoita? Oh, wait! So that means she's... The pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play Akitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Excellent work. You figured it all out. There's Yaimiko. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the Test of Courage. Miko? And the Shrine Maiden? Paimon thought you went missing. I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> well, what did you think? Mm. Were you scared? Because fear is induced by uncertainty, the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff! <laughs> it's Go typical, tell yeah, Miko. Go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. I'll see you two later. Miko, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. Hmm. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the Samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, 
I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. When I woke up again, the world had changed. Lady Yae, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? I felt happy, but... Hmm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. Oh, another Ishin it's art person. That Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. 500 years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. The unfortunate reality. However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! Oh, Ito, you came in to ruin it. Ito, what are you doing here? Ruin the conversation. <laughs> Hitomi told me everything, and I also heard that you won the last round. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Hey, you're that fox lady. Why are you here? Oh my god. <laughs> Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> Alright, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival! I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. But with my help, it won't be a problem! Good going, Ito. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa Flower Festival anyone's ever seen! Hooray for Ito! Oh. I guess you got out of the sour topic. <laughs> so I guess that works out. So Ito did it. <laughs> hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. Even my bro Ayato is going to be there. Everyone's busy getting ready and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito! You're the best, you know. You know, sets up the festival with the yokai and the others. And what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. I'm breaking the eye right there. Ah, what a festival would be without me? Fortunately, I brought sake with me. <laughs> Paimon's got to admit, Ito does have his moments. A festival, delicious food, help Paimon in! You want to join us, Shizuru? Uh... Alright, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Come join us, come hang out. 
Yeah. Crab. <laughs> Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. That makes sense for you. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! <laughs> huh? You wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did! I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me really quickly, too. Huh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be? As a crab! Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, Tsuri! I haven't seen this game in some light novels before! Do you want to give it a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Oh, boy. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paima will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. This ramen is so good. <laughs> <sighs> yes, it feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! Yay for oh, ramen! It's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt. So I don't get to eat them very often. That actually makes sense. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. What? Huh? Oh, uh, please. I didn't even realize you put no cake in it. That up again. You actually put cake. Phew, I'm stuffed. I'm feeling a little sleepy. I'm just gonna take a nap. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. Getting another cutscene? Oh, okay, you just shifted time. I can't believe you couldn't get a single water balloon. You've gotten rusty. Hey. What are you doing, Paimon? Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon wanted one too. <laughs> All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Yay! Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. Hey now, it costs money to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? 
Eh. Oh, fair enough. Financial difficulties. How about five masks for 30% off. Final offer. All right, all right. Oh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. <laughs> there are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. No, that's fair. That's fair. Besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Oh, how amusing. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! It was scary! <laughs> hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Just about. Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great! The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to her alone. We'll leave you in peace. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. She probably does know everything. It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. See the freaking hilly trails in the background. Do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you alone on the beach. Why, sure. I'm sorry, but we can't afford to add somebody else to the harem, so we're gonna have to take a rain check. If that's what it is. It's not that, yes. All right, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Don't mention it. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. I understand what you mean. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. Why? Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play Akitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. Anyway. Thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. 
Yes. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So, can I make another wish? Of course, as long as I can fulfill it. Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival. Oh. Yep, and there she goes. Disappears. Well, that was a great conclusion. She is now gone, though. Which is, uh, quite the sad ending, but, you know. Cool. And then there's the Shatter Dark. Can't be activated yet, but let's go ahead and talk to all of them over here. I saw you. He's asleep. <laughs> year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. Again, we've heard that line so many times. Just that has a different vibe to it when you said it this time. Will you be here for the next Mikawa Flower Festival? Yes. After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. Unfortunately. It'd be great if festival like this are held every day. Yeah, that would get really expensive really quick though. When Ayato approached me about holding the Test of Courage event, it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help Chizuru face her problem. Kamai and the Samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet. This was a very traumatic experience for her, and she could never come to grips with it by reasoning alone. The best option for her was to directly interact with humans, there's no need to feel sad. I believe she was content when she left us. Gotcha. Alright, Ayato. So, did you enjoy the test of courage? Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their event. However, it occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, people would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. So I decided on using the Test of Courage's notoriety to attract visitors, and left the rest to the yokai. I had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Ayato. I've been practicing for a really long time, so that'll actually scare people. I can finally take a break from that now. Hmm. 
Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? Oh. I'd like you to work on a case with me. Oh. Oh, did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. Great. Thank you. Ah. Uh, My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. Their friendship. He looks so happy. Or I mean sad is so happy, Hazel did. I'll always treasure this water balloon. I love playing with humans. Hey, Ruma. Yeah, let's talk to this guy, because... The sales are rapidly increasing today. We're almost running out of stock. Ha <laughs> ha. Even though I knew my lord had most likely planned everything before the test courage even began, I was still caught off guard. Yep. But in retrospect, it was a lot of fun. Lifespans, partings, it really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. Yeah. All I know is I'll never regret meeting <laughs> you. <laughs> it was, uh, heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. Yes, yes it was. To be honest, I excel when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades, so I try to appreciate every moment. Welp. I think that is a wrap on this event. All that's left is to essentially grind out the game, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye-bye.